But this is just wrong on all levels. And no wonder the Vegas drivers are hurting, right? Uh, when Uber customers in Las Vegas uh, start using their app to take public buses, right? And I understand that Vegas put the pressure on Uber. Um, part of the deal with them is that public trans public transport doesn't hurt under Uber and Lyft. So they force them to integrate that, right? So Uber has their hand tied on this issue. I can tell you that they have no way around in order to keep those licenses in those cities. They have to do things like this with the public transportation system, but um, it's killing drivers, man. It's hurting Vegas drivers. And what I think we should do in 2020 is um, we should nominate a day where a hundred drivers get on the bus, right? And we invite the media and then we pull out our banners. We roll them up and we pull out our banners and we strike on the bus, right? Drivers on the bus, drivers on the bus go round and round, round and round, but don't make money. Drivers on the bus go round and round, but don't make ride share money. We, we do something crazy. We get the press involved. We bring attention to this. Let the, the media interview drivers on the bus. This is also going to happen in Phoenix soon. This is going to happen at a lot of other airports. And we got to bring attention to this. We got to come up with some catchy, funny uh, marketing way where we can incorporate all the drivers and send a powerful message to Vegas, send a powerful message to Uber. Hey, you're killing the business. You're hurting the drivers. Find a way to compensate the drivers in this scheme because getting all the uh, passengers on these buses is going to take money out of the pockets. Now, Vegas. The house always wins, my friends. The casinos always win. They are people that end up walking to the airport, dragging their luggage, dragging their luggage behind them because they cannot even afford a, a bus or a lift or an Uber home. They've gambled everything away. So it's a brutal, brutal city, um, especially for gamblers that have addictions. Um, I'm telling you right now, I've seen it. Um, my friend Robin has seen it and reported on it. People literally pulling uh, their luggage behind them and walking all the way to the airport because they don't have a coin in their pocket. So, um, yeah, they say went to Las Vegas but lost everything at the craps table. There's now a cheaper way to get from the strip to the airport. Uber is making a big bet on public transit in Las Vegas. The ride-hailing company's new transit feature is going live in Sin City, where residents and gamblers alike can use the Uber app to buy tickets for the city's bus system. No plan for the drivers. It's a big double finger here to the drivers. Hey, you know what? You can use your app to catch a cheap bus. I, I hope that riders do not support this idea, right? And I'm asking every rider passenger in Vegas, if you're about to book or, or take transport, you know, think about the drivers, right? Think about the drivers for a second. You're jumping on that bus, you're hurting a driver. You're jumping on the next bus, you're hurting a driver, right? But who knows what back deals Uber has done with the city of Vegas. So last May, Uber announced that it would begin selling train and bus tickets through its app for customers in Denver, Colorado. Again, another city that will force Uber to integrate their services. Otherwise, they do not get the licenses. It was the first step in the ride-hailing giant's high-stakes quest to become the de facto smartphone app for all modes of transportation, right? But here they are. They say, hey, we're the de facto mode for all um, modes of transportation. But then they go out and do Uber Works, Uber Eats, Uber Restaurants, Uber Money. Again, Stick to your core. Since then, the company has integrated public transportation schedules and directions into its app for over a dozen other cities. Boston, New York City, Chicago, San Francisco, Washington, D.C.,
Delhi, London, Mexico City, Paris, San Diego, Sao Paulo, Seattle, and Sydney. But Las Vegas is only the second city after Denver for which Uber is including the ability to purchase transit tickets directly from its app. Right, So making it super easy to circumvent those drivers, get a ticket, and jump directly onto the bus. Following a staggered rollout, residents of Las Vegas will be able to use Uber's app to purchase tickets for the Regional Transportation Commission, RTC, of Southern Nevada, which operates the city's buses. Purchasing tickets via Uber will cost the same amount as through existing options, the company said. Uber's menu bar will let users purchase and redeem a range of tickets available on RTC service. So I'll put the, I'll put the link um, I'll put the link below, um, but we need to rally over a hundred Vegas drivers and get on that bus and protest. But at the same time, we need to invite and pay a ticket for the media to get on the bus with us, right? So invite down the TV stations, invite down the newspapers and say, hey, on this and this date, we will be at the corner of this and this street and we will all be boarding a bus. Board the bus with us. And let us hear, um, hear us out what we have to say, right? The bus system is killing drivers, killing drivers' ability to work. So this is, you know, these are all the creative ways that Uber works against its drivers. The Uber drivers got them there to this point, and now they're screwing them over. So it's, it's just atrocious how Derek Kay thinks, how Logan Green thinks, right? that they will find every way to screw over a driver. And I understand how much business this is going to cost um, drivers because people will be taking these silly buses from their hotels to the airport, right? And the percentage will increase and increase, so we've got to put a stop to it. My friends, any drivers from Vegas, any drivers in cities that are affected by these silly decisions of Uber, Speak up, shout out, maybe we do boarding a bus day, right? Boarding a bus day, and we invite all the media and the newspapers on the bus. You have a great day. I want your input on this, my friends. Thank you.